What the hell is this? I decided that I would go to a level called the museum because I thought what better way to visit history than in a museum rather than going back in time and punching it in the dick. But it turns out this is actually Flaming Street World War III. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Paint the Town Red. And for today's episode, we're going to be traveling back in time. Okay. I'm not really sure if the time traveling worked. Like, our first level is called Battle for Egypt. But the thing is, Egypt still exists. So it could be now, it could be 5,000 years ago. They weren't really all that specific. I guess I could always just ask. Hey there, furry chest. Do you know the date? <laughs> Do you speak English with those luscious lips of yours? No? Great. So I'm either a time traveler or a pain in the ass tourist. See, on one hand, you got people dressed up in silly clothing, forcing others to build monuments and uh, very upset wooden monsters. Okay. But then on the other hand, we have people drinking beer out of glasses. They might have had beer back then. I really doubt they have glasses. Maybe the glass is a time traveler too. We can't be totally sure. I'm really interested in that strange little wooden monster all of a sudden. Let's take a look around. There's a battle for Egypt that's gonna happen. I guess I should be at the heart of it, right? I'm gonna turn the tides of war. Or maybe just pull the fuzzy nipples of war. Not sure yet. You can't hide them from me. It seems like everybody here is having a really hard time. Like, the soldiers can't figure out how to hold their shields properly while they beat and threaten the citizens. <laughs> so it's a lose-lose-lose for everybody. I just don't know what I should be doing right now. I, I guess I should yell something like, let my people go, and then dropkick one of them in the head. <laughs> okay, you're free now. Free to punch me in the head. Rude. I should really be focusing on helping my little wooden fluffles here. Come on, I, I got your back. Wooden fluffles isn't a very good name. We need a better name for you. Oh, you're a mummy. That makes far more sense. You're, you're wrapped in mummy wrappings, not wooden planks. <laughs> okay, it's hard to tell when you're practically flat, all right? I'm gonna name you Cameron. Yeah, there's an ancient Egyptian mummy name for you. Metal shovels? Really? Something tells me you guys didn't have metal shovels back then, even though they had metal swords, maybe. Okay, it doesn't matter. What matters most is that you and I are in it to win it. We, if you punch me one more time, okay, I'm gonna have to bury you back in the sand. Especially if you try that thing. No, no, no. What these people fail to realize is that when I said let my people go, I didn't mean the mandatory full-time workers. I meant the undead, okay? It's time for the undead to rise again. And will you please stop with the shields? Okay, I just want to kick you right in your furry tits. Come on, help me out here. <laughs> that guy can't even get off the roof. <laughs> there aren't enough weapons in ancient Egypt. I'm gonna get berserk and I'm gonna go ham gonna happen okay just just a little little bit there we go okay yeah you're screwed now block this eh, that's the stuff yeah who's the boss now uh it it might still be you it, it's probably still him because he's not turning into me oh that one turned into media little cubes why aren't you turning into media little cubes this is bogus don't tell me it's that shield do not tell me it's the sh oh you have got to be kidding me well i got rid of his shield and a whole lot more. Maybe you should be on our side. Right, you can join the undead army. Let me just get a little bit more. There we go, you didn't need a hand, did you? <laughs> oh, I got greedy. <laughs> should have known better. Cameron, Cameron, do you really need to be like that? Can we just be friends, Cameron? Come on, D just, no, no, stop it, stop it. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of the rest of them, and then we're gonna plant you somewhere. And then when somebody comes along in about 2,000 to 5,000 years, you're gonna jump up out of your sarcophagus and give him a great big spook. It's gonna be the longest running YouTube prank of all time. Leave him alone, leave him alone. <laughs> Two left, which means you and me and him. Can I help him down? <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think that killed him, but it probably gave him a pretty good concussion. I can't imagine they have a lot of great treatments back then for a shovel to the face, right? He did a backflip. Pretty sure they would, like, put bugs in your ears or something. There we go. Okay, you ready? Ow! Oh, come on! Huddle up, team. Okay, we need to have a talk. That time travel sucked. Okay, you guys brought me back to the middle of nowhere Egypt. I had nothing to do other than make a mummy friend. I need more, okay? I'm trying to make an episode here. So, if you guys don't get it right this time, one of you is going to lose your job. And it's probably going to be the guy who's not paying attention right now. <laughs> so open the time traveling portal. <laughs> Trust me. Hey, this is easy, right? Time travel, you just walk down a blue hallway, you fall for a little bit, you turn to your left, and there you are, ancient Egypt. <laughs> just as I remembered it in a blue box underground. Oh, crap. Okay, well, this level is called Time Travel Rampage, so we definitely went back in time to a point where Cameron still looks like he's holding a grudge, I would guess, right? Maybe he's upset that I didn't join him in the undead when he punched me in the side of the head so hard that I did a backflip. <laughs> so how about we just take you and go see how he's doing? I was friendly with you last time, but I don't know how friendly I can be if you're just gonna sit there, wallow in a puddle of your own pee. Uh, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna kill all them? You can kill all them? Yeah, okay, you know what? Let's just kill all them. <gasps> oh, oh! He, he was a real fighter. Oh, you're just gonna hang out here. Yeah, yeah, you do that. You smell the lamp and I'll I'll kill all the citizens. Hey guys, I'm feeling the time travel part of this, but the wet slapping contest doesn't really make me feel rampage. Maybe I can uh, join in, there we go. <laughs> you see, isn't that so much more rampagey? Oh, can I go even further back in time? I thought this was it. I hear wet slaps coming from the past. I gotta see if there's anybody else around here though, right? There, there might be somebody hiding or maybe a secret agent weapon. No, no, wishful thinking. Okay, great. <laughs> well, uh, it's been real. I'll, I'll see you later. I'm, I'm just gonna go back to, I don't even know. I thought this was just another Egyptian level. What is this, World War II? It looks, ow, it looks like it, stop that. <laughs> oh, I gotta clear out the trenches with my trench gun. There we go, mission accomplished. Oh, those good guys are bad guys. Who wore green, oh, that's fine. You know what, it, it, it's not gonna matter all that much. <laughs> now, let, let me out, let, let me out. Oh, this is how I die, isn't it? Oh, no, we're good. Could you imagine the stories? I went back in time to wipe out an entire side of World War II just to get stuck in a trench. <laughs> I think these are the bad guys, right? Hey, 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 hey. I mean, they seem to be advocating for peace because they have little peace bands, but uh, their, their peace isn't the good kind of peace. Yeah, definitely not. And they don't know how to hold guns, so it's for the best. <laughs> you know what? If I'm gonna go further back in time, I feel like a shotgun might come in handy. There we go. More time travel. This level's wicked. I did not think it was gonna be this cool so long as the barrels don't fall over. When your time travel depends on the stackability of barrels, this is a little bit sketchy, okay? What have we got now? Oh, the, the, the team is welcoming me home. Our next level is called Egyptian Temple, and we all know who lives here by now, okay? I just decided to drop in for a visit. He seems to have a whole lot of followers all of a sudden. Ooh. That's, oh, oh, okay. Um, was temple closed? I just wanted to see what was going on with super, super duper muscly Cameron. You've been working out the last thousand years. You don't even want to hit me anymore, cool. Oh, they closed the doors. Is that bad? I feel like, the, I feel like you might be able to just walk through it. <laughs> you tank. Uh, I'll, I'll look for a button, right? Ancient Egyptians had buttons, I'm sure. There's gotta be a secret button around here somewhere because if it's not in this corner, then I'm stuck in here with these people, kind of. What if I just, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Some of them are already stuck out on this and then others just are waiting to get kicked onto it. <laughs> are you stuck already? Yeah. 
Maybe I just need to get rid of them all and then the doors will open? Oh, I can probably do, ah, ah, ow, 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 oh, clever. I mean, that means they're stuck in there and I can't kill them all or else they'll never get out. This must have been their emergency anti-Cameron measures, right? They can't let them out. Ow, will you stop hitting me? I'm trying to come back in time and help you? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that, help you. Consider yourself helped. This is actually a whole little village. They have like an army barracks and a market and a slap fighting competition in the middle of the town square. Can I join in? Is this how this works? Oh, is it a slap fight? I thought it was a stab fight. Sorry, my, my Egyptian is still a little bit rusty, especially my ancient Egyptian. Let me just go ahead and get my next slapping weapon. There we go. You see, I win. You guys got blood all over the produce. What? You're getting more blood on the produce if you hit people with it. <laughs> Stop that. You know how hard it is to get apples in Egypt? Because I don't. They might be very common there for all I know. <laughs> okay, I don't know anything about anything. I'm just here to make fun of stuff and it's hard when you don't want to make fun of an entire people. An ancient people is a little different, right? That, that doesn't count. I'm not hurting anybody's feelings. This is nobody left. Oh, where did you come from, Spartacus? We cool? Your eyes following me across the room make me think that we're not cool, and the stabbing makes me think we're not cool. Stop it, stop it. What if I do this? Uh, cool. Ah, there we go. Let's see you hit me now, huh? <laughs> you have been disarmed. Hello? Is anybody home? I would assume this is a home. Yep, this is definitely a home. We have a bed, a lantern, and a table full of weapons. That, that's all people needed back then. <laughs> you wake up in the morning, you grab your weapon, you go out, you join the slappy fights. I suppose, is that how people earn money back then? If you aim just right, you can actually pop their heads right off. <laughs> the meaning to display that, but it's hard to find willing participants. They weren't so willing. Uh, can I maybe jump on you? In oh, I can't get over there. Uh, sorry, buddy. Okay, I'll be, I'll be back in like two, 3,000 years, something like that. You'll, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. I know he just wants to take part in the slappy fights, but not everybody can be a winner like me. Oh, oh like, like me. Is this an outhouse? Oh, come on, really? I'm trying to question where you poop and you give me a cheap shot? What the hell is this? I decided that I would go to a level called the museum because I thought what better way to visit history than in a museum rather than going back in time and punching it in the dick. But it turns out this is actually Flaming Street World War III. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening right now, but I'm afraid. What is all this? This is complete madness. I can't even pick out what's happening. It's just, just fire and, and people hurting people all over the place. I want to find a safe space. Okay, we're going to find our own little rage cage somewhere over here. I have a lot of friends. Maybe I should just hang out with my friends. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hang out over here somewhere. Oh, there's the exit. The bunch of police cars rolling in. This is super, super strange. I, I swear I didn't click on the wrong level. This is definitely called the museum. You guys are just kind of hanging out here, minding your own business. Okay, you know what? I, you're the ones that I need to start a fight with. Now I feel like I'm actually accomplishing something because <laughs> I was the one to kick up the stink over here. I've never been able to figure out why the pimp cane makes people's heads legit explode. <laughs> it's so strange. No other weapon does that, like a baseball bat, a mace. Just the things that are intended to actually do that? No, it needs to be the cane, the money symbol. That's where you get your main damage from. <laughs> There's so much happening in this level that it's getting kind of choppy. Here, look, I'll do this and nothing. 200 pounds on the barbell, nothing. Pimp cane explosions. I might not have too much work to do. I was going to say it looks like my friends are winning. Go team! Let's try that one more time, except for this time, I'm not gonna be overwhelmed by the sheer amount of shenanigans happening in front of me, and I accidentally shot a friend, so that's gonna make things a little bit more difficult. How is it that people see friendly fire in this place? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, if somebody killed one of my friends here, I would never know it, because there's so much happening. 
<laughs> please, please stop. I'm I'm so hurt. I'm I'm very hurt right now. I would love a berserk. I would love to get a berserk off where I actually hurt somebody with it. Even if I can't see what I'm doing because it's so freaking dark. Ah, oh, weapon. Weapon. Here we go. Eh. Come on, come on, give me my berserk. Give me my berserk. Why won't you guys go down and give it to me? I need this so bad. I don't need a shield. Here, take the bottle. Take the shield. Take my foot. I found the shotgun table. Yeah, this should make things much easier. <laughs> shotgun tables are definitely something you should be looking for in this situation. <laughs> Who needs berserk, right? I'm practically berserking all over your stupid little mustache right now. Huh. Okay, that's a surprise, not gonna lie. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. I just shot a guy through your head. There we go. That's the stuff. How many left? Can I get some kind of heads up, please? Can I get a head count? No, not a head count. There's a whole lot of heads lying around. Can I get uh, a fist swinging count, maybe? Nothing? Okay, how about Smite? I don't know if Smite's gonna do anything is the problem. Smite doesn't really get the numbers. It just kind of lays down a whole lot of damage. We'll try, though. I mean, at the very least, we're gonna get a great view of you turning into a skeleton. <laughs> or not. Why is it Smite doesn't kill people? What's the point of an ultimate special ability if it just kind of tickles them? If you had a choice between firing a laser beam from space, like straight out of God's anus, or using pellet shot, which would you use? Because for some reason, buckshot, pellet shot, bird shot, whatever you want to call it, works way better. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm not going to try to get it. I'm just going to try to get through this. Oh my God, there's so many people. There's so many of them. I can't get over this. There's hundreds of people here. Oh my God. You know what? 69 is the perfect number to end on. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And I just saw so many random Egyptian levels coming up that I came up with this stupid kind of story idea, which you guys have told me you like. But if you still do, if you want to see more stuff like this, then be sure to leave a like on this video. Let me know, and I'll keep a look around for even more levels that I can string together into some kind of nonsense. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.